Today was supposed to be the deadline for San Diego restaurants to bring their outdoor dining spaces to code, but the city has given them a break as they continue to adjust to being back open amid the pandemic. And Fox 5's Jeff McAdam, he joins us now live from Little Italy with more on the extension. Jeff, good afternoon. Hi, Maria. Yeah, well, the city now says they plan on pushing back that deadline till August 2nd, which is a big deal because if they had not done that, we could be looking at dozens of restaurants here in Little Italy and, and many more restaurants around San Diego that could be looking at some major $10,000 fines. It's been a good run. It's provided us a great space during COVID. But Vince Busalaki knows their outdoor patio days are numbered. I think they're going to come by and, um, you know, check on us. I think it's going to be like a, either a weekly thing. The general manager of the Nona in Little Italy expected to see city code enforcement this week, demanding they make changes. Anything that's an overhead structure needs to come down. From my understanding, we can't even have the upright posts coming over yeah. to like string. If we want to string lights across, I, I think that's out of the question and no more. Uh, we can't bring any power from the building over anymore. So we can't have any electrical overhead or anything. Um, we would have to get a battery uh, generator. The city allowed the restaurant patios to be built last year during the pandemic, and some went all out, spending tens of thousands of dollars. But now it seems that era is coming to an end. The city wanting those spaces to get up to code, meeting federal, state, and local fire regulations, which include getting rid of patio space that encroaches on red zone parking and getting rid of patio roofs. But with the deadline here, the city has now relaxed its timeline, writing business owners are acutely focused on reopening and attracting clientele in the city would like to support these efforts through the month of July. This will allow the city and business associations more time to communicate with impacted businesses. They're going to give us time to come by and, um, you know, help us guide us through. They're going to work with us, basically. The city's willing to work with us and, you know, that, that's all we want and just kind of be nice if we keep it longer. but. Yeah, meanwhile, San Diego Fire says that over the past two months, they found 138 businesses that are in violation of having the proper permits, being up to date with the code on what the current standards are. So you can only imagine what a nightmare they'd have on their hands if they went ahead and enforced these new code enforcement today. You'd have potentially 138 businesses, plus all these other ones that are not ready to make the move to today's standards. So these next two and a half weeks will be badly needed. It'll be interesting to see just how many businesses make the change. We'll keep you up to date here on Fox 5. From Little Italy, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. Jeff, thank you.